Treasure News with Deep Digger Dan. Hello and welcome to Treasure News, bringing you all the news of the treasure all around the world as and when it breaks. Now, today I've got a little story for you. An astonishing stash of 2,800 year old gold jewellery has been dug up by archaeologists in Kazakhstan. Now this only broke last night and it's quite interesting, it's quite a, a special archaeological find is this one. 3,000 gold and precious items were stolen, sorry, were found by the archaeologists in a burial mound in the Tabagati, Tabagatai, Tabagatai, Tabagatai Mountains. Did I get that right? Described as priceless, it's believed to have belonged to a group of people called the Saka people who ruled in that area 800 years before Jesus was born. Amongst the finds, there's earrings in the shape of bells, uh, gold plates, plaques, chains and a necklace full of precious stones. So the thieves, sorry, I mean the archaeologists, They've been studying all these 3,000 items and they've come to the conclusion that they belong to a man and a woman who were probably royalty from the Saka people in that area during that time. And the thieves, sorry, the archaeologists, do expect to dig up the graves of them two people very soon. They haven't got in them yet, but they're trying their best to get right deep inside the coffins of these important king and queen who, who they've just stolen all the gold off. Apparently there's 200, or there were 200 burial mounds in this area. It's the Elekese Plateau area. 200 graves, uh, grave mounds there. But in ancient times, th this is coming out of the archaeologists' mouths, yeah? In, a, in, a, in ancient times, many of them were robbed. Robbed, okay? Now, I have to put it to you... Why are the archaeologists saying that people robbed these graves in ancient times, but them taking the gold in this day and age is not classed as robbery? Can someone please explain to me what the difference is between robbery 2,000 years ago and archaeologists doing it now? Why does it make it better to do it with archaeologists now? Why isn't it classed as robbery? I just... You know, I'm not trying to be picky, I'm not trying to have a go at anyone, I just want an answer. I just want someone to tell me why archaeologists are not classing what they're doing as robbery. So archaeologists first started robbing this, first started um, excavating this area two years ago and they found some gold then, including some fantastic gold animals. I don't know if the deer look a bit like deer to me, beautiful animals and some spearheads. So they knew they were onto something, they knew these mounds, some of the other mounds must contain gold, so carried on digging and this is what they found, which was reported yesterday. The archaeologists are saying that they're confident that they can steal some more grave goods and they're going to continue digging until they find more, starting with trying to dig up the bodies of the king and queen from the Saka people who the gold belonged to. So if I hear any more on this story about these archaeologists uh, getting this gold and what they're doing with it, where it's going to, uh, and, I don't know, maybe an explanation as to why they didn't leave the gold in the grave with the two bodies of this king and queen which they shouldn't have touched, um, I will bring that to you as soon as possible because I would love to know. So... Not just this story, any other story. If there's any other treasure news out there, as and when it breaks, I'll bring it to you on this channel in the treasure news. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Treasure News with Deep Digger Dan.